legal access at North Carolina Central University. I, I say, number one, you got to have a daily spiritual practice. I don't care who you are. You got to have a daily spiritual practice. You got to have a clear connection with something bigger and greater than you. You have to have that level of internal discipline. That's really what it's about. Internal discipline and inner authority where you are being inspired. Don't leave me out here by myself. <laughs> I think the other thing for success is balance. You know, don't work all the time. Work when it's time to work, study when it's time to study, play when it's time to play, rest when it's time to rest. And I think what happens very often on college campuses is some you, you either all or one or the other or you drop everything to do this one, you know, when you party and you party and even if you need to study. Or when you study and you you know hammering it, hammering it and then you won't give yourself a break. So I say balance. Give a little bit to everything. I think the greatest thing is to have a clear vision. Don't just be getting a degree to get a degree. Come in here with a vision. What? Uh, how do you see yourself? And it'll shift from freshman year to junior year, from junior year to senior year, but don't just be going to classes to get a degree. Be clear about who you are and what it is, and that vision will pull you forward. Because until you can take a stand for your truth and use your voice in the furtherance of what matters to you, you will not have personal integrity. I mean, I'd be on the Van Zandt, but y'all wouldn't know that. <laughs> really, because I think that, um, you know, I grew up in a time of busing. I was bused from the black uh, junior high school to the white junior high school. And so there were very little expectations of us, very little given to us, very little done with us. Uh, in our, in our schools. And then when we went to the white school, it was the same thing. So I just have a different understanding of the value of education, the power of education, because I had to fight to get my education. Y'all filled out a piece of paper and picked a name. You know, they put me on the bus and sent me somewhere people spit on me. So when I got an opportunity to go to a historically black college, I knew that somebody had been spit on, somebody had been beaten, somebody had died, somebody, you know, I went to college with a whole nother attitude. Plus, I was 30 years old when I went to college. I didn't go straight out of high school. So I think an HBCU uh, taught me the history behind my experiences, the history of who I was. Uh, and then I went to Meg Evers College, you know, who was a, a, a very, very well uh, known civil rights work in Mississippi. And so I just learned about who I am in the educational process. And it wasn't just books and pictures, it was real people, you know? Yeah. Look at your grandfather. Look at your grandfather. Look at Mega Evans. Look at Malcolm X. Look at Martin Luther King. Look at Nat Turner. Look at Denmark Vesey. Look at some of that. Not at the historical events of their lives, but what they stood on, what they stood for, what they stood with.